Here at Conley's House of Magic, we have nearly 60 different kinds of trick decks. Of course, I try to remember what they do, but this is probably the easiest one, yet the greatest of all the trick decks, the granddaddy of them all, actually. It's called the Svengali deck. When you just look at the Svengali deck, it looks normal, but it's not. So the only thing you really can't do is let people examine the cards. But as you handle them, they seem okay. And the cards are actually specially shaped so that when you shuffle them and cut them, they stay in the same arrangement. I already know what the selected card is, which is kind of neat too. So the easiest way to do it is you make a few piles, somebody touches a pile, say they touch this one, and you know what the card is. The card is the Three of Hearts. Now the reason I knew it was going to be the three is because that's the magic card. Wherever you put him in the deck, you press the button, it rings a bell, he hears it, pops to the top. Other people can press the button, turn the card over, the three still comes to the top. In fact, you can actually show the elevator empty, then press the button, and he still jumps up there. Now as soon as you do that, somebody out there is going to think there's more than one three. In fact, usually somebody thinks it works because all the cards are threes. But you know they're only half right, see, because half of the cards are threes. And the other half of the regular cards, you see, when you're not looking at the threes. But if I tell you how it works, it's not fun. And besides, if you take a regular card, place with the threes, take a three and place with the regular cards, then automatically all the threes become regular cards, and all the regular cards, of course, become the threes. Of course, some people won't believe anything you say anyway. They're going to think all the cards are threes no matter what you tell them. But if all the cards looked alike, you couldn't tell them apart. Tricks wouldn't make sense. So really, every card's a three, but it's not a three, which is hard to explain, so we never do. Now, the killer trick with the deck would be this. You take a card like, say, the five of spades. You put it underneath something. Somebody selects a card, which, of course, is always going to be the three. Then the three vanishes, goes down here, the card down there comes to the top, and they change places. That's called the Sven Galley deck, comes with a book of 101 tricks, which is more than you should know anyway. 